We're here this morning at um, 101 Manchester Road, that's M&D Linz uh, supermarket, where we discovered um, a large quantity of counterfeit um, curry, you know, and I stress counterfeit curry because most of our reports, you know, would have mentioned um, sneakers and pharmaceuticals, but this morning they're moving to the food item, which is curry. And it is a sad day for us because these criminals, I call them criminals, they have no care whatsoever about the human element. All they care about is making money. And our singular action today is to enforce the intellectual property rights um, enforcement arm and also to protect the trademark um, grant for this query. This morning we discovered, based on our assessment, the prelim assessment, of over 3.2 million Jamaican dollars worth of curry, you know, and in, in the scheme of things, it is a, it's a huge catch of curry, right? And these persons are disingenuous because they counterfeit their brand. The owner of this brand is losing money. The owner of this brand eventually might have to shut down the operation. The owner of this brand might take loan to facilitate their development. So it is a sad day, it is a bad thing, and I always stress that counterfeiting is bad and it's not good for your health. And this is one instance where I stress that the counterfeit goods here today is not good for you. Now, if you can cook and know anything about cur curry, you should already know the first time when you're stepping out of that kitchen, say curry, are one of the hardest things to deal with. You know, really hard, you know. But it's just that it, it is delicate. So we just underline it and say, look here, it is hard. Because enough people don't know how to deal with curry. They don't know how to cook curry. If you don't burn the curry, just know, say, you're in a trouble. You live a bathroom. If you literally move your bed, go inside the bathroom, the lie down. Yeah, I'll wait till you're ready for use it. Curry is a very serious thing. And any uh, anybody you eat curry from. Wanna comment down below and talk to me and tell me if me I make sense. With saying all of this, if you say that, how the hell the money fear curry? And them know say curry already as something way in a ramp with. Eh? And the man named fear curry. Can you imagine? Eh? Can you imagine? That's why enough of we out here we are sick. And we don't know what happened to we. We go a doctor, we visit all about you, all our money done a doctor. And we still don't know what to we uh, the things that we are consume. Let me tell you, we know say the time hard and everything raise, everything sky high. So you see them look a shop here, I mean I'm gonna say no specific place, but you have some people we operate in a Jamaica. Yeah. Them for them something cheap, but it's not the best. It is not even fit. It is not even ready. Over three million dollar worth of fake mm -hmm. curry, counterfeit curry. Hmm? Them just clam down pan. How them get into the country? How them pass custom? Come on, man. If we have to, if we are kill the tree, where you have to kill it from? Where you have to kill the tree from? You have to find the root. What is going on? How so much fake something I pass? Who I, I check off my name something here? Boy, I could spend all day and talk about this, but guess what? We have a whole heap of things in the JY family. So just like up the video, share up the video, and spam the comment section and give us your feedback. What kind of trick you game this year play? Who who are play them game ya with people life and people? Health, eh? How so much something are coming in a fake? Well, a three million worth of curry, fake curry. Can you imagine? Eh? Talk to me down in the comment section. As we tell you now, we'll check out our next report. JY family, come on, man, come on. 
you can't reach so far and don't press the like button hit the bell icon to be notified and this is the channel you need to subscribe to that you didn't know you need to subscribe to do the right thing man Why? You know, my kitchen and me on shop this. And when you look, me see one of the old man around grass this way. And then the two good men run out of the, the shop. Boom! And run past. As they reach, I said, they fire one shot out of the next bar, then they actually run in the shop. See? And then go down the side and go jump in the car. And then jump in the car, then bust a snake shot again. I just see this man in the middle of the city. So, what is it? It's a rubbish. It's a rubbish car, then they run past the money drain. No money. The wicked is set up. The bartender did right now. Anybody is that shot? Then shoot out of the bartender, that's about to get my shot. She run. I'm telling you why. You know? 10-15 minutes now, brother. Oh, Half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. She come here. I'm dead today. She's from the area? No. Oh. First name is here. She's well known then. Okay. Mm. So, bartender gone down on second day at work in Manchester. I want to stop and think for a minute. How that sound? That no sound like deja vu. When I talk to me, no man, I know say when I, when I have good memory. You know. This you no know, somewhere happened already, JY family. One time I see it, I have to read it over and over to make sure say, I know the same long time steel news. But guess what? Then I get a video of the situation in my WhatsApp. I say, yo, Jano. A bartender was con on her second day. And the job in New Green, Manchester, during a reported arm um, robbery. The incident took place on Wednesday <laughs> afternoon. John was star. Me tell us, yo, when you see the video here, when you can't believe see a woman, the man named D with so. This lady get a hot death, me tell her, she get a hot death. Me wonder say if them know her. Come here, tell her, say, yo. But she fall up in the corner. Face. Chop. Boy, this look personal to me, you know. If I could then go for rob this place, yeah. Right? Why them deal with the lady, so? Why them deal with the bartender, so? Eh? No, sir. Something, you know, something, yeah, man. You know, they must say, her identity has not yet been ascertained. Preliminary reports indicate that around 1 p.m., two armed assailants targeted a bar in New Green Square, robbing it of cash before open fire on the bartender. Jesus. Observer online was told that the gunmen, while running towards a waiting car, continued shooting in the square before making their escape. Detective and onlookers have since gathered at the crime scene. Judge ja, ja, God. Boy, JY family. I can't believe see a woman named dirty drunk or dog ya come out. A can woman named man ya come out, man. Oh no, go for up the bar and them get the money and all these things. And them deal with the lady, so. Her second day on the job, them said, damn if you do, damn if you don't. If this lady sit down and don't work, people criticize her how she lazy. If she come up on the internet and come beg, 
I uh, don't see him one. I go say, go on and look work and see there. The lady don't look work. And the second day, them slap her away on the job. And this is not the first. This is not the first incident. Well, I don't know. I search for the incident. Yo, you think to me, an idiot. I know I bring something like this here already. And I think the girl was even pregnant. This man see it here, man. 20-year-old pregnant bartender kill on second day on the job. And this happened out of April. And now we are in May the 1st. 1st of May. So you see this? Second day, this a bartender you get slapped with you. Know? A 20-year-old bartender was one of two people killed at a bar in St. Elizabeth on Wednesday night. It is understood the woman who was eight weeks pregnant and a man were shot fatally at the establishment in Williamsfield. The deceased have been identified as 37-year-old Dean Morgan, otherwise called Looker D, a truck driver of Williamsfield District, St. Elizabeth, and a 20-year-old Kishira R. Scott, a bartender of Ballard's River in Clarendon. You know, see this? Me know. Me know. I remember vividly that I bring this story. It's like when a parish carry out a act and ex parish a answer back and see who can do it more wickeder. Yo, John was star. More, more to the, me know see enough people I go can manage them the type of image there. But more to don't see the video, man. Trust me, me I tell you, see them deal with the lady, wicked man. Oh my God. Two persons, a male and a female, were found suffering from gunshot wounds. They were taken to the Black River Hospital where they were pronounced dead. The information we have so far, the female, the bartender that worked at this location, was her second day working here. The gentleman who was killed is a resident of this community. Well over 33 spring shells were found at this location. The William Steel community is a community that is very peaceful and quiet. And in fact, we have not had any major incidents in this community. And so we are here supporting the residents and ensuring that this investigation will be speedy and swiftly. The residents are not accustomed to this kind of activity in their space. And so we are ensuring that our CSS team, supported by our station pastors and chaplains, will provide support. The gentlemen had a number of children. Uh, many of them who are traumatized out of this incident, as well as children in this community. And so we'll be providing additional support to them. We will continue the investigation until we find the persons responsible for this gruesome killing of these two people. All right, don't you hear that? And it all, it, them always say, investigation, investigation. And not nothing, nothing. Nothing at all now nah, come out of them something here. Yeah. Boy, please can't continue for run to JY family. I swear. Wanna comment down below and tell me what you think. What you think of the same boy them go up on this same robbery? Yeah? Wanna talk to me down in the comment section? Because I don't understand. Trust me, it's like deja vu. Every day you get up, the same dirty bed bug them. The infestation is real. Oh man, and as we step on deja vu, deja vu, yeah, another accident, and this time I get to understand that it's a police officer, not just a regular police officer, you know, a police from the SWAT team, SWAT department, he recently got promoted to SWAT, yeah man, he met in a motor vehicle accident with his private vehicle, at Barrett Town intersection in a St. James, it hit into a premix truck that is ahead on the road. The motor vehicle is a Honda Fit. It is badly damaged. His condition is unknown at the moment, but Jamaica YouTube, as usual, managed to obtain a video, and that video will be shared in my whatsapp group you can see the constable lying down mourning yaman yeah, in pain that is janua 
and as you guys can see on your screen this car look like a duck and eat it yeah man it look like a duck and honestly I, you mash up trust me why constable if constable survive my video thank god so his name is constable simeon kelson so yeah this is an unofficial report so anybody have any information on okay, can comment down below and let me know exactly how is constable Kelson doing all right yeah man i'm gonna share the video in my whatsapp group this is Kanaika representing for Jamaica YouTube TV from straight out of Grangeville. Like, share, and subscribe. Me love Jamaica, me not so loud. Them try clip with wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica. Roast bread, fruit, and banana. Under the tree with a glass of...